Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, have I got a really old, cool, cool, cool guitar for you. This is a 1936 pre-war Regal Archtop. Now, I have had a whole bunch of Regal Archtops. I've never had one of this age. And uh, Regals, they've been around forever, and uh, a lot of people have had them. And uh, I've never had one of this quality before. When I got this guitar, I was thinking I was buying just a Regal had no idea after I started researching it that first of all it was actually this old. They told me it was this old, the uh, previous owner, but I was, wasn't buying it and it's like as I researched it's like yeah it is a 1936 if he says it. We can't exactly determine the date, I just want everyone to know. We dated it by the crown logo and the patent pending uh, clues on tuners on the back with the jelly bean buttons. Now those uh, are all pre-war and uh, like I said, it's, it was 30s, 40s, somewhere in there from everything that we could see. We're going to call it a 1936. Now this guitar is absolutely stunningly beautiful and really has not had a ton of play on it. Uh, it appears that the frets are original. Uh, there is some wear on the frets. There is some pitting on them. Uh, I cleaned them up quite a bit, uh, but uh, they are definitely have been used, but there's no finger divots in the ebony board. Yes, you heard me correct. It has an ebony board on this guitar, uh, which just speaks to the quality uh, materials in it. Solid spruce top. There is, uh, there is no indication of any book matching on this. Mahogany back and sides. The, the uh, neck appears to be mahogany as well. And I don't think this uh, neck has ever been reset, and nor does it need it. Uh, the guitar plays marvelously, and uh, we'll, we'll show you some more of that here in just a little bit. Some really nice appointments with this guitar. Uh, first of all, the tailpiece is original. Uh, we saw some older ones that had this tailpiece. I can't speak to the bridge, although the, the uh, bridge is ancient. Uh, uh, I saw some different bridges on these guitars than this one, so it might have broke and been replaced, but if, if it was replaced, it was replaced a really long time ago. I've never seen one like this, so it's been around a long time. And then uh, the original pickguard on this guitar is just beautiful. Uh, it had been, I don't know if they moved the uh, pickup uh, bracket or not, but there's an extra hole uh, that was filled, so uh, I mean it fits, it, it looks great. Uh, it, um, I have to say, it, it may even be real tortoise uh, from some of the markings I see on it and can feel. Uh, those you can't even sell anymore, so uh, you didn't hear me say that. But anyway, a beautiful original pickguard on this uh, uh, guitar that's just absolutely stunning. And then, let's look at this binding. I mean, this is wood binding. Uh, this is not a celluloid uh, uh, binding material. They made this out of wood pieces, and uh, it's just the marquetry on this guitar is just absolutely beautiful uh, on the uh, front and then the back also has uh, wood binding and you know what it's got a little wood uh, piece here on the neck heel as well uh, probably speaking for uh, uh, maybe they weren't using as much plastics back then I guess uh, that would be my guess because really except for the uh, jelly bean uh, 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 tuner buttons uh, there's no plastic on this guitar um, Let's talk about how it plays. I mean, the neck, it's a big neck, okay? It's, it's, it's a handful, uh, but it's not uh, obnoxious. Uh, I've got small hands, as I'm sure you've he all heard me say, uh, and I'm used to playing smaller neck guitars like Gibson's. This one, um, it's, it's definitely full. Uh, it doesn't have a V. Uh, it's got a C. It's got a nice rounded C neck on it, and it just feels really good, but it feels substantial. So when you grab this guitar, it just... It's like, oh, we got a real guitar in our hands here. And it just, it, it feels wonderful. Uh, the uh, nut also appears to be bone, and there is no indication at all that that has ever been off this guitar. So uh, it's got the uh, 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 tuner buttons, uh, I'm sorry, the, the tuner grommets on here, the hexagonal uh, tuner grommets that Cluson used, and the, the tuners are just absolutely beautiful. And you just have to see this crown regal, uh, logo on here. I mean, you can you can feel it. It was put on after the finish, you, and it's still in beautiful, beautiful shape. Uh, this guitar, I mean, it's just to be as old as it is, to be in this kind of condition is just wild. I mean, it's just it's absolutely beautiful, and it plays like a champ. Uh, these guitars, uh, we've we've done neck resets on them. We've done New York neck neck resets on them. Uh, usually, they need help. Uh, this one. Obviously, it speaks to the materials and the workmanship of this guitar. It just it didn't need anything. And some of the stuff I was reading about this guitar is uh, these guitars uh, certainly ranked right up there with the Gibson guitars of the day. They were not as expensive 
as uh, Gibson guitars, like the L48 and L50, uh, although uh, they were certainly going after that same customer. So um, the, the guitars uh, were not as expensive as a Gibson, but they certainly were, were going after that customer, and when you hear it, it just, it's like, boy, that is a strong, solid sound of this guitar. Uh, but anyway, uh, all original, uh, like I said, it just, it's absolutely gorgeous. Love these uh, inlays in here. Um, I'm not sure what those are. They almost look like they might be pearl. Um, they certainly have that look. But uh, check them out. I mean, it just, it's like, it's so unusual. And, uh, oh, you know what? I just saw some, some uh, uh, finger divots right in here. Uh, might have been a jazz player, or a Django player. Uh, around. You usually see them up here in the first three frets. You don't usually see them from three to five. Wow, that's something wild. So, yes, there is some player wear in the guitar, but I'll tell you what, he took or she took outstanding care of this guitar. It's, uh, it's not dark, it's not bright. It's kind of right, kind of right in, in between. But it's distinctive. You know, I got a, an email from uh, one of my potential customers, and he was speaking about this guitar, and he said, is there any way you could demo that guitar? I'm really intrigued by it. So, um, you know, it's funny, it, it, it came up, and I'm looking at the guitarist to demo, and it's like, this one's for you. You asked for it, here it is. Uh, he wanted to hear how it, it sounded uh, playing uh, strum, uh, uh, heavy strumming, like you would uh, be playing with an orchestra or a small band, and uh, it just, it's certainly going to hold up. It projects. Steve, are you hearing this guitar as, as clearly as I am? Yeah, I got two thumbs up from Steve. Now the action is not strat low. I want uh, all my uh, uh, people watching this video to understand these guitars, the actions were, were high anyway because it helped them project the volume around an orchestra. If your strings are down close to your, your fretboard, you are, you're not going to get nearly the projection you're going to get from a big heavy string that's vibrating like crazy. However, this guitar plays really, really well. If you're used to uh, playing a Strat and you think this is going to be like it, please, it's not going to do that. However, you're going to be able to play bar chords. You're going to be able to play some leads. What a nice guitar. Now, I'm sorry to say I did not get the original case. Um, the cases that would have come with that probably could have been a canvas case uh, with the end that opens up. It could have been uh, some sort of a hard shell case. From 1936, dragging that guitar around, it would be a miracle if it was still around. It's not. Now, I will tell you, though, that I do have this very beautiful hard shell case that I would gotten for another guitar. and. Um, it fits this guitar absolutely perfectly. Uh, it's a beautiful case. Um, it's, you know, it's just, it's a hard shell case. If I was going to ship that guitar to you, I would not want to ship it in anything but a hard shell case to give it the most protection I possibly could. Uh, it's a beautiful case. It looks like it's probably 
hardly used. Uh, you know, of course, everything is here. Accessory box. Um, yep. Let's see. Is there a key in there? Oh yeah, we got the key in there and everything. So you get this brand new guitar case and a guitar that is really old. <laughs> a 1936 pre-war Regal arch top and it is absolutely gorgeous. Original from top to bottom including the tuners and the pick guard and the bridge and the tailpiece. I mean it's just an outstanding guitar. Grab this one if you've been looking at an old arch top. You will not be sorry. Check it and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com where we always sell really cool guitars. Thanks for watching.